produces the program includes government food purchases by the Commodity Credit Corporation of surplus affected commodities and a trade promotion program. It also involves direct payments for soybeans, sorghum, corn, wheat, cotton, dairy, and hogs. However, the details will not be released until Labor Day. The aid package is speculated to contain direct payments of between seven to eight billion dollars, but the big unknown is the payment amount. And that's something that's still uh, to be in the detail to be worked out. I've heard that it's going to be tied to our this year's production. While most farmers sold old crop soybeans before the $2 drop in prices, they will be hurt this fall and question if the payments will be adequate. I think this fall is coming very fast and I don't see a whole lot of things happening, you know, real quickly, but you know, they could, but how do you, even if you do get them back, how do you get that $2 of the market back? Willers also wonders how USDA will figure market losses and do it equitably. Who gets what and how do you figure that out? I mean, there's some big people that have sold some grain ahead and some haven't. I mean, who, what's fair? Plus, farmers say they want trade, not aid. We don't want a subsidy. Um, never have wanted to farm that way. It's not sustainable. And we just need to uh, make our money from the market. They also welcome trade promotion to open new markets, but don't want to lose existing ones. We just hope that we can keep maintaining our sales in the future, whether they be through other countries with new markets or whether our old customers come back. And farmers want the trade war resolved quickly so they don't lose more market share with key export customers.